Thank you for selecting this presentation on the K2 Boiler Quick Start Guide. This guide makes technicians experts on the K2 Boiler so they can quickly satisfy their customers. The K2 Heating Boiler was invented for high efficiency performance and long-term reliability, but it was designed with contractors to install quickly. The K2 Quick Start Experience starts with a boiler loop circulator that is already pre-installed in the boiler. The K2 Quick Start Guide is a poster sized card with two sides. The preparation side has key installation tips on venting, piping, mounting, and wiring. The startup side provides specific instructions for powering up the boiler and speeding up combustion settings. Installing contractors should always follow the boiler installation, operating, and service instructions included with the boiler. Let's start with installation tips. Proper venting is essential for performance and safety. The top left area summarizes approved venting terminations through a wall, through a roof, or both. K2 venting can use short bend or long sweep elbows per the instruction manual. Installers appreciate the K2 venting's flexibility. Exhaust risers may extend up to 7 feet higher than intake openings to clear outdoor living areas. The universal vent connection at the top of the boiler connects directly to approved CPVC starter vent pipe or polypro or stainless steel. The safety relief valve comes in the boiler parts box. Contractors should not plumb any other valves between it and the boiler. The K2 boiler is ready for the fastest preventative maintenance of any condensing boiler with 4 plus 1 nut quick cleaning access deep into the water tube heat exchanger. The high flow circulator has the same five year warranty as other components and is accessible through a convenient service panel. If you have enough wall space and want to save time, locate the best studs or drilling locations, then use this quick drilling and clearance guide. The K2 boiler stands out on its own. Two important accessories save even more time and money. The Sage Zone Control saves energy and reduces short cycling wear and tear. Circulator panel and valve panel versions run from zone size presets or easy adjustments made at the boiler touch screen. Without flashing to high fire, each boiler only fires up to the demand of the zone or total zones calling. Boiler connections are installed quickly with a CAT5 networking cable that is included with the Sage Zone Control. The fast pipe pre-made primary secondary manifold attaches to the unions at the bottom of the K2 boiler. It connects to system piping and includes NPT connections for a safety relief valve, drain valve, expansion tank, air vent, and temperature pressure gauge. Here are other quick tips from expert K2 installers. Level the boiler within 5 degrees. Always check the vent screw under the hose. If present, open counterclockwise before reconnecting the hose. High and low voltage connections are always separated between two printed circuit boards. Ignore the combi tips at the bottom right. This accessory was discontinued after U.S. Boiler introduced its dedicated combi boiler. It's always a good idea to increase boiler pipe sizing between the boiler and indirect tank to 1 inch diameter piping. After your mounting, piping, venting, fuel, and electrical connections are perfect and air is purged, you are ready to commission the boiler. Any LP gas conversion should have been done properly with the correct conversion kit. Step 1. Order a call for heat from a thermostat and wait 30 seconds. Observe the touchscreen display that shows the boiler status as pictured. 
Step 2. Check for a flame through the observation window. Step 3. Check gas pressure at the inlet test port and verify that it is within the range limits on the rating plate. If not done earlier, go back and check gas pressure without any appliance draw. Step 4. Ready the combustion analyzer and insert the probe into the vent connector test port. Step 5. Use the touchscreen display and follow the steps in the blue box to begin the adjustments covered as step 6 in the orange boxes. Step 6. The top red arrow from the blue box directs the technician into the orange area for the first high fire combustion setting. The orange boxes, starting with the light orange and moving into the deep orange, provide all the details for setting screws on the boiler for proper combustion readings on the analyzer. After setting high fire, the technician repeats a similar step in the blue box and follows the second red arrow to complete the specified low fire settings. Step 7 shows how to complete a safety shutoff test in seconds. Thank you again for viewing this presentation. We hope this information helped you save time and satisfy your customers.